Hi there and welcome to Maestro. In this tutorial, we will go through how to analyze multivariate time series using dynamic Bayesian networks online. This web tool uses a cloud-based backend, but you may download the on-premises version to run it in a managed network. The front-end source code is also available. To start, please register yourself. You may later delete your account. After logging in, you can download datasets to test the application or upload your own. Data must be formatted as the example files, with one subject per line. If you have any doubts, check the website's instructions on formatting. For now, we will only use the first example and impute it. Since the discrete values are represented as numbers, we must select every attribute as discrete. Now, you can see that the data is graphically presented for better visual interpretation. There is a drop-down to choose which attribute to display, and you can view every subject in the data. We will now impute the data using a dynamic Bayesian network. You can expand the first card to inspect the network used for this step. By hovering over the nodes, you may see their conditional probabilities. You can also download the network image or its text description, as well as consult the application logs. Now that we have no more missing values, we will find the outliers in this dataset. Again, you may inspect the generated network. Next, two plots are shown, a histogram with the scores and a heat map with the outliers. This analysis may be done for the subjects as well as the transitions. You can use the controls on the left to adjust the threshold and number of bins used for representation. The outliers and scores can be downloaded as CSV files, but only the subject outliers may be removed from the dataset. After cleaning the time series, we may group them into clusters. We will try to find two of them using networks where each attribute may have two parents. You can see that two networks splitting the data are found. You may download them, as well as a file that places each subject in its cluster. Now, we will learn a network to make a prediction on the evolution of the subjects. To do so, we use the files for modeling and prediction. 
Again, the attributes are discrete, so you should select them as such. This method also allows using static attributes. With attribute inference, we may estimate by either sampling according to the probability distribution or choosing the most probable values. You may also view the probability distributions as bar plots. As for the prediction, you can again sample or use the most likely outcomes. Doing so generates a prediction on the evolution of each time series. Finally, notice that all of the uploaded data and results can be seen and easily deleted. Now that we are done, we can delete the account and all of the data will be removed. This is just a taste of what is possible. Thank you for watching and I hope you try Maestro.